So here, the change between the five-day forecast is very automatic. So you have the date and also the forecast. You see that this is happening very automatically. So what we would like to do is to add animation in order to have a smooth change between the two, like a fade in and out effect. So we're going to go to this animation extension and we're going to go further down where you're going to find these functions which are day switch to and forecast switch to and each of them is taking a string as a parameter and what we're going to be doing is calling those methods so inside change with the data so we're going to be using so the data that we get so actually like this one instead we're going to be calling the date and also the corresponding text text for the forecast and we're going to allow to have a fade in and out effect so every every time we go through the change so we're going to start with date the day so that's going to be day switch two and for the string parameter so that's going to be self forecast and then we're going to pass so we're going to need to access the weather data information that we have at a specific index position and we're going to use day which is our integer so that's not going to be day switch to but day and then we're going to use the property which is day in order to be able to display the new string so at this index position and fade in and out create a fade in and out effect so we're going to do, be doing the same for forecast switch to there you go and that's going to be a string as well as a parameter so that's going to be self forecast and then that's going to be at the index position that we need to go to and that's going to be desk and this time you're going to be able to see that when we change the weather information we're going to go through the simulator so the change is going to be happening smoothly from one to another to the next one so one thing we need to do left is we're going to go to each of these functions because here we're going to need to call again so day switch to first we're going to need to call self display date again and that's going to be date because we're going to pass this as a string and for forecast we're going to be doing the same so that's going to be self forecast we're going to need to update so the text property of the forecast outlet and we're going to pass forecast as a parameter there we go so we're going to update that and then run again so now we have updated the animation and now we're going to be able to also display the corresponding data.